Hey guys, I thought I'd do something a little different today. I'm going to do an achievement guide for Beijing 2008. Um, I've done an achievement guide before for Pit Boss uh, achievement on Modern Warfare 2, but well, this is Beijing Olympics 2008. It's an old game, yes, but um, I recently picked it up and I'm going to start with kayaking. Kayaking, my friends say, and most achievement guides say, is the hardest, one of the hardest achievements. and basically I, I got the hang of it after a few tries you, you have to really get used to the controls to be any good at this you have to learn the course as well so even if you're not good you can still go down the course learn where the gates are know where to turn know when to turn know how to how sharp to turn and especially watch out for these backwards gates which are really annoying and I'm gonna say that if you for the backwards gates, try and go through at a diagonal so that you come out so it's easy just to stick your oar in and spin round and carry on with the course. Nearly missed the gate there, but and look like that. Hit it straight across at a diagonal and then I just floated down, stuck the oar in and turned round. So much easier to do it that way rather than trying to go straight through. I think I actually do this on one gate, but go straight through it, then try and turn yourself around and then try and push yourself away from the gate sideways and then um, down the stream again rapid sorry um, I actually hit a gate there if you hit a gate for those who don't know who've never played this before if you hit a gate you get plus two seconds on your time you've got to do it in under 112 seconds in total including penalty time um, for the achievement and I actually do, this is my personal best on this one um, but even with a penalty, I'd do it under the time. And if you miss a gate, so if you just go straight past it, people think, oh, it'd be easier to just tank it straight down. Don't even bother with the gates. But you get 50 second penalty, so it's not going to happen. Um, I actually nearly mess up on that gate there. And watch out when you're doing it, going through the backwards ones, that you don't accidentally float back through it, because then it, it says you missed the gate. I get that often. Uh, don't get stressed out about it, is what I'm going to say, and just just keep trying it if you're wanting to do this it's really quite easy when you get the hang of it and all my friends seemed impressed by it so <laughs> um, that's the kayaking done in 110 seconds which is my personal best and I believe there's judo up next and judo's achievement is for winning the entire tournament without getting any points against you which means you're not allowed to get any Yukos, Kokas, Waze Ari, or Waza Ari, um, or Ippons against you. Basically, to win this easily, you learn the patterns. So, I knew from when they started pushing, um, I'll show you, you have to press the arrows when they appear. So, I knew when we started going that way that it was going to be a right. So, I pressed right and I find the easiest one is to do is just like tap Y as many times as you can and then turn the controller so that the triggers on the top and use all of your hands to just tap the triggers um, alternately as fast as you can and that will make them submit really easily and I won that one in one move and I think I win this one as well um, it's a matter of just learning the patterns like as soon as I started pushing forward I knew it was going to go left pressed it, got an excellent, um, I think I tapped it three Y three times and it automatically puts them into a chokehold. You can either, you can press, I think A's or X's is for um, doing something else which it has like a gauge where you choose was it, and you have to tap A as uh, fast as you can to try and ip on them which means one point in Japanese which means you win basically you win the match instantly with an Ippon or two Wazaris um, and there's also a pin as well which is exactly the same as this you just have to tap the triggers as fast as you can but I anyway I find this the easiest way to win and that was the tournament over with achievement got uh, next one 25 meter rapid fire pistol this one is really easy basically for that bar goes by you have to get ten um five tens in a row on one shot so this one i th don't think i get it 
when my friends covered it up by inviting me to play Modern Warfare 2. But, um, no, I got a 9 in there, but once you get, if you get breathing, excellent. Um, it's really easy, like there, got five tens sorted. This one's javelin thrower, if you notice there, it's actually my second attempt when I'm doing this. Because I fouled the first one, by accident. And you have to throw it over 98.6, I do believe, for this one. And my tip for this is just waggle it as fast as you can, hold down, hold the stick right up until it's locked, and then just get it practice and get it timed perfectly. So that you stop dead on the line because on that one I didn't actually make it, uh, 93 I think. Um, but this one, you you want to get the angle as close to 45 as you want as you can uh, possibly get, and as close to the line without going over as for a foul and this one I think I get a 43 degree angle and stop dead on the line which is pretty much perfect my world record now is 98.8 something and this nearly beats it I think it's like three centimeters or so short of the world record so but it's still a good throw and I'm, I'm guessing it'd be easy to beat for some of you guys um, but that's it for this achievement guide. I hope you enjoy it, hope you use it, hope you like it. If you want more achievement guides for some games or ones that you're stuck on, send me a message or leave me a comment down here. I do read them and if you subscribe then they may come up. I'll try and make a video and try and help get around to everything you want. I'm going to be working on a montage um, soon for Modern Warfare 2 and I hope you guys I hope to see you guys next time. Uh, see you later.